Hello there, my name is Tim Warner, and in this video I'm going to review Adam Bertram's new book, PowerShell for Sysadmins, published by No Starch Press. A few weeks ago, Adam's editor at No Starch, Natalie Gleason, asked me to review Adam's new book. I didn't even know Adam was writing a book, to be honest, but I was happy to oblige. Natalie offered to send me a print copy of the book, but I don't like print books. The only time I do print books is when I'm buying some for my daughter, for her reading pleasure, she's nine, or for childhood nostalgia purposes. The good news is that No Starch is well on the ebook train, so I used a DRM free PDF for this review. Anyway, about this new book. The publisher, as I said, is No Starch Press. I have a shortcut link to the book's page at No Starch, timw.info forward slash psy1. I've always liked No Starch Press because they choose nichier topics than some of the other major tech book publishers. For instance, I recall reading books on Cisco routing and switching, Linux, etc. And of course, on one hand, you think, well, Tim, those aren't niche at all. But the way that they approach it, Wireshark is another no starch book that I really liked. The way they approach the subject matter, I really appreciated. Anyway, Adam Bertram's been in the PowerShell and Windows Systems Administration community for a long time. He's a Microsoft MVP. You can find his website at my short link here, timw.info forward slash PSY2. I don't want to show slides. I'm going to cut to demo now, and let's actually look through the book together, and I'll give you my top-line impressions, having read it. Here we are at the No Starch Press website focused specifically on the book PowerShell for Sysadmins. Looks like it was published in February of 2020, 320 pages, and as I said, No Starch is doing pretty well at publishing in various formats. It looks like you can get the print book and the ebook version for $29.95 USD or just the ebook for $23.95. One thing I noticed is lacking for this particular book are downloadable script files. For example, I mentioned the Wireshark book that No Starch Press published a few years ago. The author there posted all of his source files, and that was invaluable in applying what's in the book. I hope that No Starch and Adam work together to post his scripts. After all, the purpose of this book is to make the systems administrator's life easier by running PowerShell scripts, or console-based ad hoc PowerShell one-liners, as the case may be. Let's bring up the document, and I want to take you to a few key pages here. First, the About the Author page. I want to draw your attention not to Adam, but actually the technical reviewer. If you know who Jeff Hicks is, he's a very well-known PowerShell instructor and a Microsoft MVP. And the fact that Jeff was the technical reviewer for this book is a very big badge of honor on the book and also serves to increase the book's credibility. Now, I know Adam and Jeff, they're both friends of mine, and Adam is super rigorous on his own. Having Jeff to back him up really stands this book tall in terms of credibility. Next, let's take a look at the brief contents of the book. We've got parts, which is a common pattern with most books nowadays. Part one is PowerShell Fundamentals where it looks like we go from getting started, and I really mean getting started. Adam assumes that you don't know PowerShell at all, and frankly, I think that's to this book's detriment. And within 40 pages, you're already up to control flow and error handling. Don Jones posted a particularly scathing review that he retracted and posted a lighter review, but one of Don's biggest criticisms is the book attempts to cover too much too soon, and I have to admit that's the case. The fact that by the time we're up to 100, we've already gotten to well into intermediate and advanced PowerShell, that might be asking a little bit too much of the reader, and I'll have more to say about that in just a moment. Remember, the title of this book is PowerShell for Sysadmins, so I immediately think of Lee Holmes' book for O'Reilly, PowerShell Cookbook. In other words, give me a book that I can refer to during the day when I need to accomplish such and so a goal, or if I'm looking to automate such and so a procedure, just give me that procedure, give me a downloadable script that I can modify and I'm off and running. Part two is where Adam gets into the day-to-day -day tasks. And here, notice he goes from parsing structured data into Active Directory to Azure to AWS, and then, strangely, creating a server inventory script. So we go really wide afield, going out of our local data centers and out into the two predominant clouds, Azure and Amazon Web Services, and then we come back to the data center. 
Again, I think the issue here is that it's covering way too much ground. Because I consider myself as a reader, this book is more of a practical guide cookbook. I would have liked to have seen many more granular, practical sysadmin examples, and I'd like to have them indexed so that the working administrator can just consult the index to find a particular task, look it up, and they're off and running. Part three, Adam gets into building modules, which is fine, but again, that's at least an intermediate upwards to advanced step. And the examples, though, I must say are good. One of Adam's great credits as a technical writer and as an instructor is that he teaches by demonstrating rather than just explaining, explaining, explaining. So once you get into the text, let me jump ahead to a representative section of the book later in the book, let's say. Okay, I've done a control F to look for pester testing. Adam is pretty well known for his work with pester testing, and it's great that he included that in this book here. It looks like there are some code samples here. I forgot about this when I initially went through the book. Looks like GitHub, AD Bertram, PowerShell for sysadmins. That really needs to be on the No Starch Press website, it seems to me. Now, as I'm scrolling through the pages here and you're just looking, I want you to see a couple things. Number one, it is pretty dense. So this isn't a book that's necessarily intended for skimming or, as I said, as a cookbook. It's something that you'll actually want to sit and spend time working through. Also, because Adam teaches through demonstration, you'll actually be best off following through his procedures. Now, unfortunately, his procedures are generally not numbered. So you'll have to, again, stay pretty close to the text as you're working to apply. Something that you can see here in this code listing is that it's annotated with little dots that represent callouts, and then those are mentioned in text below. That's a nice educational feature that both No Starch and Manning publications do quite a bit. Okay, let me come back to the very beginning, and I'm going to control F and look for who this book is for. That's really important. I should have already mentioned that because you need to think about what was the author thinking when he proposed this book to the publisher. Let's, let's just read it together here. This book is for IT professionals and system administrators who are tired of clicking around in the GUI and performing the same task for the 500th time. Okay. can also be for DevOps engineers who are struggling to automate new server environments, perform automated testing, or implement CI/CD pipelines. No single demographic benefits the most from PowerShell. Okay, so it looks like he's focusing specifically on the Microsoft system administrator in a Windows shop. Now, he does mention PowerShell tends to fit well more universally, but you need to understand going in here that this book, all of the examples and all of the context is dealing with Windows environments. In fact, on the back cover of the book, you can see right here that the book is covering Windows PowerShell V1. That means that there's not going to be any coverage of .NET Core and PowerShell Core 6 and 7, and you'll also find little to no reference to non-Windows operating systems. So you need to understand that going, and this is all Windows all the time. And again, I think that's a weakness because the whole purpose of PowerShell 6 and 7 is cross-platform systems administration and automation. Okay, so how can I wrap up this book? I would say that if you're a Windows systems administrator and you don't mind actually reading a more or less denser text as opposed to doing, say, PowerShell in a month of lunches that has more step-by-step -step procedures that you can just bite off an hour at a time, so to speak. If you're willing to do that work of really digging into the text, this would be a good fit for you, like I said. I also like the fact that No Starch makes the book available in multiple formats. As I said at the beginning of this review, I do all of my reading on a screen. I don't like print books anymore. As I said, the fact that the book was vetted by Jeff Hicks is a good thing. I like Adam's teaching style. It's his demonstration approach works well. And because he's been in the community for so long, he integrates PowerShell community best practices through his code. So if you're willing to hang with him through the text, then I think you're in for some really good education. Now, on the other hand, let me come back to the brief contents. If you are either A, not a full Windows person, if you work in cross-platform environments with Linux, Mac OS, 
and or you're new to PowerShell, this may not be the book for you. And mainly, as I said, Adam attempts to give you a ground level understanding and he goes way beyond, in my experience, he goes beyond the traditional Holy Trinity commandlets of get command, get help and get member and takes you all the way into scripts and pester in 100 pages. That's fine as a refresher if you're already intermediate level with PowerShell, but it's a pretty daunting thing to ask for a newcomer. So if you're brand new, I would suggest that you look at an elementary PowerShell book and then come back to this one. Thank you very much for participating in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find me at Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. My computer-based training library at Pluralsight is at timw.info forward slash ps. And my website is techtrainertim.com. Keep in touch. Take good care.